Hello, this is Nick from Breaker Press Games, uh, here with uh, the third part in our series on building a barracks board for Broken Contract. Uh, in the first part of the series, uh, we drew out uh, originally this plan right here, um, and then trans transposed it onto, uh, onto this piece of hardboard. Uh, and then in the uh, second part of the uh, series, we talked about cutting and gluing foam and making a bunch of these types of block structures. So now, um, the next thing that I did in order to prep for this video is I drew this same pattern again on this foam. And the reason being is because this foam is going to be what we're going to be gluing all the blocks on. But we want to detail this foam a little bit first. And this is going to go very similar to how we did the blocks. Um, we are going to be using, in this, um, in this uh, video, we're going to be using a knife again, a utility knife, uh, or, or a breakaway blade. We're going to be using this pencil, and one of the things I'm going to note about this pencil is this pencil is dull, and that is deliberate. Uh, and the other thing that we're going to be using is wood glue. I'm not sure I placed the wood glue, but wood glue. Uh, so uh, that will make a, an appearance in a little bit. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to create texture on this board um, without... It used to be that uh, when I would make a board, I would glue all, all cover all of the open areas with sand. Um, this gave a, a nice texture, um, but if you tipped your models over, they would often chip. Um, and it made things incredibly heavy. And I don't want things to be incredibly heavy. Um, I want this to be a nice, light, transportable board. So in order to create texture, I'm actually going to draw it on. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pencil and I know that rocks are going to appear more often in the corners. And so I'm just going to draw some, you know, like kidney or um, rock type shapes wherever I feel that they're going to appear. And this is a very simple thing to do. It is a little time consuming. Um, the dull pencil allows me to apply pressure without breaking through the foam. Uh, so it just gives a little bit of detail. And sometimes it helps to go over each area twice. Um, but it'll give you a sense of detail. Yep, I applied a little bit too much pressure there, um, but that's okay. A little rock over here, a little rock over here. Happy little tree like Bob Ross. And this is going to, and it looks like it's showing up pretty good in these lights, which is nice. Uh, this is just creating the illusion of rock surface. And I am literally going to go through and do this um, on every area of the board. Now, you can go for different levels of detail. Um, this is enough for me. Um, this section seems about right with this much detail. And then I can move on to the next. Um, you can, if you like, instead um, have, you know, a meticulous design like this uh, um, prototype board section that uh, we're working on uh, with the laser cutter, um, but that is by no means necessary. Uh, I think that this, I've done this before and it gives a good look. Now, the other thing that we will do with this section is we're going to put in um, some gouges because uh, as uh, gen mods, let's say, drag dumpsters 
uh, full of rocks through the area. Um, there's going to be some light slices. in the surface of the ground. And it doesn't take a lot in order to create a sense of detail. And maybe something gets dragged this way. And you don't want things to look too, uh, too unnatural. You want things to look you know, kind of beat up and um, just not uniform. You want things to look kind of natural. But this process really, really isn't going to take that long. Um, and it just requires a little bit of patience and uh, oftentimes a light touch uh, so that you have detail that shows up, but you're not putting these gigantic gouges into, uh, into the surface. So I'm going to hit stop here, and I'm going to detail out the rest of the board, uh, and we'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so after about 15, maybe 20 minutes of, uh, of drawing and, uh, and um, doing V-cuts, uh, this is what I've got. And I know it's not necessarily the easiest to see. Um, you can see that there are these these shapes and these cuts all put into the foam. And they're going to give uh, the foam texture uh, when we eventually get to the dry, dry brushing stage. And that isn't to say that there won't be some sand involved um, and there will also be a variety of, uh, of rocks. In fact, what we're going to do is uh, next up I am going to place the uh, uh, foam blocks, the columns, in their approximate positions and uh, get a sense of how this is going to come together. Okay, so this should give you an idea of how everything is going to come together. Uh, you can see where the, uh, where the columns go and how the flooring is going to look. Uh, just give you a, a sense. One of the things that I do like to do oftentimes is to continue continue a uh, cut that uh, might appear somewhere else on the surface. So let's say I'm going to mess with uh, the positioning of this column. If I knew that uh, this column is going to be completed in this position and I've got this cut right here, I might continue that cut on the ground um, where it is so that it looks like the saw cut in to the rock surface and continued onto the floor, the rock floor. So, so I might do something like that. A little tricky with the uh, tripod in my way, um, but so but then the cut continues onto the floor. Uh, so that's one thing that uh, will add some additional details and I'll probably go in and do that in a number of spots. Another thing, so I mentioned that there were these little tiny off cuts when we originally uh, uh, were cutting the foam columns. And what I like to do with these is I will cut that and snap it. And then I will shape this into some form of rock surface. The blade's starting to get a little dull from all the cutting, um, but it's still still usable. And I can always I can always break the blade away. That's part of the the joy of the breakaway blade um, is being able to uh, cut section or break sections of it off in order to uh, increase your sharp surface. So, as you can see, you can take this little tiny piece of foam and turn it into a pretty convincing flat rock. So, you know, I might take something like that and glue it down right there. Now, that would be a pretty, pretty big rock, so I might 
break that down into something smaller. So we might take this. Mind your fingers when you're doing that. And shape it down even further. Turn it into something a bit more natural looking. Um, but also smaller because the piece was too big. And yeah, now we've got a nice size rock that might go over there, or maybe it would look good um, tucked in right here. Uh, so you can do that, and you can layer those by you know stacking them on top of each other or whatever. Uh, but essentially, the idea is to create the illusion of uh, it being this um, very rocky and rough area of mine uh, that uh, the fighting is going to take place around. So I might put that one and if you notice I left the one side flat so that I can nice, nice and uh, flushly um, butt up right there and boom I'm starting to uh, create a uh, um, a little bit more layer and texture and I'm not wasting these you know sort of large pieces of foam I'm, I'm putting them to use uh, so that the amount of waste that this project creates is minimal because that's one of the things that I don't like about working with foam and part of the reason why Hal and I have been messing with the idea of uh, of uh, a um, laser cut uh, MDF uh, board surface is because though foam has a very very nice look um, in my opinion I really hate the waste um, and though I consider it a piece of art this is going to be something that is going to I've got some some scenery that has been with me for 20 years, uh, and I just consider it art that uh, that uh, I have made. Um, but uh, at the same time, I know that is not the case for everybody, and for somebody who uh, isn't going to hold on to a foam board for the next uh, two decades, you know, maybe maybe foam is not the best choice. Um, but we will see in the future uh, um, whether uh, Hal and I can get together uh, um, some nice, some nice laser cut stuff that uh, will do the job. But in the meantime, I love this. It's got a nice, a nice look, um, and I think your board will uh, look beautiful as well. There was one other thing that I wanted to mention. Um, you may have noticed that I took off my ring, and I've got this nice, uh, heavy ring um, that I was wearing. But as I press my hand onto the foam to hold it when I'm doing cuts or drawing, uh, the ring actually, um, the, the weight and shape of it would ding the foam. And that wasn't making me happy, so I took it off. So keep in mind that uh, you may need to take off your jewelry when uh, doing this. So yeah, that is it for today. Uh, the next stages are going to be, I'm going to grab that, uh, that wood glue and glue these into place and add some more cuts. And uh, uh, then we will start building out uh, the actual barracks areas. So those are the things that are coming up. Uh, hopefully that uh, video will go up next week. I know that's going to be right around... Uh, um, uh, people being busy with getting ready for the holidays, but uh, uh, Adepticon is, what, three months away, and I got to get this stuff done. All right. Thank you very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.